today's video, I'll show you how to create this. So the first thing that you gotta do, just come straight here, you go straight to your text, then you write your text. So I'll just write short cut, then you just add straight to your timeline. From your timeline, just make it short, this is big, just like that. Just go downwards, go straight to your middle, go up, you turn this straight on zero, you come here, you just write one and right here. Then you make it bold, then you click OK, then boom, that's what you have. Then I just want to move this a little bit that side, because this is where I want it to cut. Then I just go backwards like that, go straight to my playlist, click Ctrl, Shift, E to screenshot um, this. Then it will ask you to save, then save it like how, one, how you want to save it. Then you come here, you delete what you have there. Then just click here to make sure you're in the beginning. You go straight to recent. Then you just select this twice, you just click Ctrl V to paste it on video track number one. Click Ctrl I to open another video track. Then you just uh, repaste it again, Ctrl V. Now I have two uh, screenshots doing the same thing. So I'll just come to the below one, go straight to filters, come to add. Then I'll just add a drop filter. Then just take this, drop it until there. Then make sure the transparent is there. Then you're going to do the same thing. On the above one, just add a drop, then you drop it straight to another direction. Just take this until there, and then you just make it transparent. You go to the below one, which is a shot. You can actually come straight to properties. You come here, then you can name it a shot. This one, then you click OK. Then you come to this one, you can name it a cut. This one, so that you can see um, what you are dealing with. Just go straight there, select like a shot come here just add a position then from your position um, you can just copy the current one here then you go straight to paste it there so you can just mute this and we focus straight to the short one so um, another thing that we want to do we want this to be a little bit long about seven seconds so you gotta just try to guess Okay, let's just use eight seconds is fine click s then you just delete and then you just make this to be long just like that so from here you want to click m just to create your first then just uh, go straight around 15 around this area or let's go around 10 then then it will be super fast but it's okay then you do the same thing over that side click m then you go straight to 10. Actually, let me just move this until this area. Drag that until there. So now we go straight to our shot. Make sure you are on your position. So here you want it to be there. Just click here to activate like the keyframe. It's okay there. You go back to your timeline. I want this to be here. Just let's go and fix that. Then you come around here. Around this area, I want it this to go backwards until here. This is what I want. Just do it like that. Then I can turn on this. I come to do the same thing this time. around here. Just make sure you select it. Go straight to here. You just create a keyframe. So from here, just leave it like that. Go back to your timeline. From here. want it to be there then you go straight to your keyframe again from here you want it backwards then um this is what will happen then to do the same thing also uh here so you just come straight here to select okay this is where it is you come here just select that one then you have like your your keyframe over there then just click uh, select then you just come here uh, select make sure you're there go straight to your keyframe just move it like that so you just open like that from here now, at the starting point go straight to your keyframe the starting point should be right here 
which make it like even in the beginning it should be there okay now we come to this side um, from here you go straight to your keyframe just make sure your keyframes on the right position there it should be there then uh, come here you do the same your keyframe should be there just go straight to your position then you just click on that button then you go straight to the end at the end it should be uh, straight make sure I just zoom in towards this area you just drag this and put then towards the end just click here then towards the end it should just close perfect then now you can just um, try to animate this like the way you want to animate it so I will just come here I'll just choose cubic out do the same here just choose a uh, cubic out then I just do the same on this one just come here to choose cubic out same cubic out then you click control i to add a new track then you just select the track that you want it to appear you put it here and this to be then just take this you put it straight then the video should appear on this uh, spot only then you just come right here just go straight to your filters you came straight here just right drop you can just uh drop exactly where you want it to drop just i'll just stop around here okay i don't know why it delay just drop until there then you come to turn this off then you should come just around then you add a position then you can just position it so we can still apply uh the drop function here because we need it to be exactly what we want it to be okay after dropping this is what you will have from here you just come to zoom in here so just make sure you are straight there just select this then you just click s then you just uh drop it from here cut it from here then do you have two pieces then you have just to go backwards you gotta do thing come here just you have last just like that then you go straight to the piece in the beginning just select the beginning just come straight to add then you just add your drop and just zoom in just to make sure you see everything then from here just come straight here you can just add um, this just to make sure you see everything just can't take this make that area also that side around this area now we come to this just you have to listen carefully right now just put around this area then all you have to do just under position just um, click there just make sure this is also untransparent then now you gotta just keep on doing this until you get it perfect so now you start to open so when you start to open just go backwards you can see you cannot see anything because like that, that's where it is then you're gonna start here that's when like you start to see something just open this just make it um just come straight to, towards the end here then here you just select that because that's where we want our first keyframe to be just zoom in just move backwards now just select move this backwards zoom in just make sure every time you move backwards you just select here move backwards select there move backwards you see that it is coming closer the words then you just have to move that by one step that side do the same this side move it by one step you gotta do this until like you finish okay we just are uh, done with the first one with um, the front side so you gotta come to the back side you just do the same thing just come here you just add the drop then you just uh, zoom this out just make sure you drop this until from here to there from here then from here you just go straight to animate then I'll just move fast just do the same thing just um okay guys i'm just done with it so just come here just zoom this out then um this is the basic of it guys you can still um do a lot of things uh change the background 
change like the video that you'll be using add a border or uh, just add a border right here um there's so much you can do um but that, this is just a basic let me show you what we just created thanks so much guys for watching this one i hope you did like it please do uh, leave a comment let me know what i should be doing in the next video um hope to see you on the next one bless